Good evening. Good evening, Ma Madam Chairman and members of the Judiciary Committee. Thank you for allowing me to testify on this bill. My name is Leonela Felix, and I am here on behalf of Mayor Elorza in the city of Providence in strong support for this legislation. Since taking office, Mayor Elorza has worked tirelessly on, on building a city that works for all of its residents, and this legislation do, does just that. As this committee knows, if you live in Rhode Island, you probably need to drive to get around to take your kids to the store, to after school activities, or go to work. The fact is that Rhode Island's current policy of excluding certain drivers from the licensing system does not prevent people from driving. Instead, they drive, but without licensing, without training, without insurance, or registration. The current policy of excluding drivers makes the roads more dangerous, makes policing more difficult, limits states' revenue from licensing and registration fees, raises insurance costs, and creates significant hardships for the immigrant community. As a state, we must do better for our residents, can be in a better position to support their families, to spend and to contribute to the state's economy. 12 states and the District of Columbia have provided access to driver's license regarding, regardless excuse me, of immigration status. It is time for Rhode Island to follow the examples of these states and enact this inclusive legislation. As a first-generation Dominican-American, I know exactly the daily struggles of immigrant communities, the barriers they face to participation solely because of their immigrant status. Like many in my family, our residents in Providence just want the opportunity to safely participate in all aspects of life without the fear and consequence that comes from driving without a license. This bill will grant our residents the ability to do just that, which they need for their own safety and the safety of others. For years, residents, advocates, allies, and local officials have been advocating for this legislation that will grant undocumented drivers the ability to comply with all rules and regulations. But time and time again, legislation that would make this possible has been defeated at the State House. We believe that Rhode Island is ready to join the 12 other states that have granted driver's license regardless of immigration status. And once again, on behalf of Mayor Elorza and the City of Providence, thank you for allowing me to join you today and express our strong support for this bill.